Good evening, good evening everyone. Welcome to 129th video on the misconceptions in physics. My name is Arsenkar Rao. I teach physics in an international school in Bangalore. And this is about me and uh, the video series that you are looking at is about understanding why a particular concept cannot be applied in two different contexts or how concepts are relevant in context. Okay, with this small introduction, so let me proceed further for today's video. So we are looking at logical reasoning problems. So let me share this my slide. Okay. So as you see today, it is the ninth video on the logical reasoning errors. So one of the problems which I observed in some you know, while, while I started correcting my papers is about the calculation of current in this problem. So many of them had made a mistake. So let us understand why does this happen. Okay, so the problem reads like this, a heater in an electric shower has a power of 8.5 kilowatt. What does it give you? It tells you about the power, okay? Connected to a 240 volt electrical supply. So voltage is given. And uh, it is connected to an electrical supply by a copper cable, right? The following data is available, okay? So we have an electrical shower, the rating, power rating is given, voltage is given, and then uh, length of the cable is given, cross-sectional area, resistivity of the copper is given. Calculate the resistance of the cable. Now, 80% of the students had committed this mistake. Why 80? Almost 95% of the students have kind of committed this mistake. Now, let us see what they have done. Now, they said that the resistance is related to power as P equal to V square by R, which everyone knows correctly. Right? How do I get this? We know that power is nothing but voltage multiplied by current. And uh, I can put I equal to V by R, Ohm's law, V into V by R, which should now be equal to V square by R. Okay? From 10th standard, we have been studying this. The formula for power, the three formulae, one is V into I, the other one is I squared into R, the other one is V squared divided by R. Any one of them, you can use it. Okay. Okay. Now, of this, uh, so he has chosen this. Why he has chosen this? Because V is known, P is known. And he had to substitute all the values, get the value for R. Okay. Thus, R can be written as V squared divided by P, substitute the values, you get the answer, 6.77 ohms. Now, if you try it, for the first time you feel everything is correct, then why should it be wrong? Okay, but this is definitely an incorrect answer. Okay, this is a misconception. Why is this a misconception? The reason is because this formula could be applied when you know that the conductor that you have is a linear conductor, which means what? Which obeys Ohm's law. Why which obeys Ohm's law? Because you observe here, I put I equal to V by R here. Only through this I have got it, right? If it does not obey Ohm's law, you should not use this. Okay, now coming back to this. Now, you can always say, hey, I have a copper cable. It should obey Ohm's law. Then why is it incorrect? Now, let us understand the question clearly. This is where most of us make a mistake. Of course, here it obeys Ohm's law, but still there's something wrong here. An electric, a heater in an electric shower has a power of 8.5 kilowatt. So what is this? It's a not an element. It's an appliance. The heater is an appliance. You have a big heater. So this heater... The power rating, when, the, when you calculate the power rating over here, the power rating is seen to be 8.5 kilowatt. What does it tell you? That means uh, the maximum power that can be delivered to this is seen to be 8.5 kilowatt. Now, inside this heater, what all can have? You can have okay something like a stand over here, and then it will be a metal rod. There could be some electrodes over here. And then connected to this, this could be a copper wire. So, so many things can be encompassed. Okay, This is connected to a 240 volt supply. So, you are connecting this one to a 240 volt supply. So this is your 240 volt supply, okay, which is nothing but your normal socket. So this is your 240 volt supply. Now, when you do this one, what is that you are doing? You are assuming that the total current that passes through this entire element over here is seen to be 6.77 ohms. Okay, when you do this particular way, it says nothing but the current that passes through the heater is equal to so much. Now, let us say, for example, this region, starting from here to here, this region, Okay, if it has a very huge resistance, if this region has a huge resistance over here, okay, then, and the copper cable is somewhere over here, the copper cable that is mentioning, is, it is connected to the electrical supply by a copper cable, or maybe this is my copper cable, sorry, this is my copper cable, and inside this is a huge resistance. Now, what is he asking here? He is asking you only to find out the resistance over here, okay, this resistance. So, definitely, this resistance will be smaller, this resistance could be larger. This resistance could be larger. 
But what did I do? I assumed that the entire parts of it has the same uniform resistance. The moment the material of the wire changes, there is an iron here, there could be an aluminum here, anything could be there, then suddenly the resistance should change. Do you agree? So whether the material is connected to an electrical supply or not, definitely if it is an electrical conductor or it has some electrical property, then the electrical property is related to its basic attributes. What are they? the length, the cross-sectional area, and the resistivity. So you should employ this formula. Which formula is this? The formula here is R is equal to rho L divided by A. This is the formula you have to use. But what did you do? You use another formula, right? So this could be used only when they are, the conductor is an uniform one. Here the conductor is not uniform. It could comprise of so many elements. So we made a mistake over here. See, every problem, there is something like this, which you need to look into detail and then analyze it, understand it, and only then you have to solve. Okay, physics numericals are not tough. Physics numericals need some logical reasoning. You need to split the problem into several parts, then understand it clearly. How does it look like? You should imagine, you should visualize it. Only then you will be able to solve the problem. Okay, now enough of my lecture. Let me solve this. So this value will now be equal to, what's the value of rho, 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 1.7 into 10 to the power of minus 8, multiplied by length, 10 meters, divided by area, what is the area? 6 millimeters squared, 6 into 10 to the power of millimeter squared is 10 power minus 3, the whole square, whole square. So which should now be equal to 1.7 into 10 to the power of minus 8 into 10, divided by 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6. If I solve this, what do I get? I get this is 1.7 divided by 6 multiplied by 10 power minus 8 plus 1 plus 6, which should now be, hey, where is my calculator? Mm, I need to have my calculator. Okay, just a moment. Let me find out what could be the value. I don't have the ready reckoner answer. 1.7 divided by 6 will be now be 0 0.283. Okay, so this value is seen to be 0 0.283. I'll write this as 0 0.28 multiplied by 10 to the power of is minus 8 plus 1 plus 7 plus 6 minus 8 plus 7 will be minus 1. Minus 1 unit is ohm because it is resistance. So the answer here should be 0 0.028 ohms. Got it? The first thing that should come to our mind here is that see some somewhere our presence of mind is very important. Okay. The moment you say that there is a copper cable, what kind of material is this? Copper is an excellent conductor. Okay, so you have a big length of copper. Now, what, how is the, why is the copper used in electrical wiring? It will have a very least resistance. So don't compare this resistance as least. This is really higher. Okay, so this resistance is definitely least. 0 0.028 ohms is very, very less. So this is my answer. This is the right answer. Okay, thank you friends for watching this. And if you really like the video, do share. And subscribe to my channel for more updates and uh, all the videos if you want to watch it chapter wise or maybe the topic wise you will be able to see this in my website which is seen over here which is seen over here okay as you see it's ratankar.com you can go back to this and you can you'll be able to view all these videos uh, and if you want to write back to me regarding some numericals you can always write back to me here at ratankar.gmail.com or this is my whatsapp number you can also write back to me Thank you. Thank you once again.